my gosh. I've basically done all the showcases in the game that I possibly can so far that isn't a common epic legendary unit. Um, I'm just kidding. Uh, but today, we got ourselves something absolutely crazy. First of all, huge shout out to you guys who came out to the stream and supported me. I appreciate it. We had like 3,000 members all at once, which was absurd. If you were in the stream, you saw this already, because this happened on stream. But I was rolling on this unit, right? I'm like, well, Obito's really good, so let me roll on Obito. And look at what I got on my Obito. I got none other than Monarch. The mythical, unique trait, whatever you want to call it, on him. And, well, yeah, that's actually kind of crazy, because we haven't done an Obito showcase yet, so we'll be able to do that. And I was also just kind of rolling his stats, just for fun, right? Just to see... Yeah, maybe I'll get something crazy. I got a Z plus stat for SPA, guys. Z's above S. So it goes like F, D, C, B, A, S, Z. And then like there's this Kami symbol that'll show up. That'll be like the God symbol. And that's like even higher than Z and Z plus. So our Obito might actually be a crazy unit. Hi, guys. Uh, Thanks for the support, smiley face. <laughs> Say hi to the video. <laughs> look at these people. Look at these people. All right, they all look cool though. Everyone looks super cool. <laughs> what is this? I love this. <laughs> all right, there you go. Everyone's saying hi. Anyways, guys, let's see Odito's Evo. So what you got to do to get his items, you go over here to the play area. And then explain this for the first update. After this update, I won't be explaining it as much. Legend stages. Legend Stage Act 3, you guys will get this skin patch. As you can see, it is used to evolve Obito. You'll also get the Essence Stones from doing this as well. You'll get some ramen, you'll get some gems and some gold, but this is what you need. You need the skin patch. You gotta finish Act 1, Act 2, and then finally Act 3. Once you get enough of those, I think I have, yep, I have 16 of them. You're gonna go over here. Like I said, do the stat potential do the traits you're gonna go here to the evo area which is right next to it i always forget where it is thank you they said subs total gaming by the way guys but here click on Odito. make sure i choose the right one with the actual trait uh there we go and now as you guys can see i needed 12 of the eye or the patch i need 30 epic fruits 11 yellows one mythical and 12 purples and now i click evolve and he'll turn into obito awaken look at that his damage goes from 3600 every 7.9 seconds with 18.8 range to 4600 his dps goes from 450 to 586 that is crazy let's do it evolve obito awaken and we got some stat cubes as well whoa yo Obito Awaken looks crazy cool, I'm not gonna lie. Just looking at him like this, that that's a sick looking unit with the Monarch trait as well. Man, this unit might be absurd. Now what we gotta do though is go to the daily challenges. If you guys are not doing daily challenges, you are like missing out on powering up your units because they're gonna become super duper strong. We're gonna go there with our friends and we're gonna do, let's see, we'll unequip my Monarch Naruto and we'll actually bring our Obito, where is he? Uh, there he is, Obito Monarch. I'm s I am can not believe I got Monarch on him. Go to, can I ascend him actually? Select my Obito. Oh my gosh, I can ascend him once, nice. Are you sure you want to proceed? He's gonna get plus 3% damage, yes. And now he's got the first ascension as well. Let's go. Okay, we're here. Let's check it out. Oh, we got some sack cubes too. Let's check out what Obito can actually do. I uh, hope my friends are paying attention. Yep, there they are. Let's start. Honestly, it's really hard to do these things in these daily challenges because they do become kind of difficult. But I brought Sung Jin Woo Evo, who's, you know, kind of just an insane unit to have in general. And he should be able to help them carry. But what I'm gonna do is just focus on farming real quick and they'll kind of just take care of everything else. Let me ask them to put their units in the back so we can see Obito perfectly clear here. And we'll just do a quick little time lapse while we make some money. But uh, yeah, time lapse, go. Alrighty, we maxed out our money here. All our uh, Skibidi Sprint Wagons are fully maxed out. I get 30, 60 per wave. I placed Oldito down, guys. 4,800 every seven seconds. Look at this attack, ready? 
he gets a kunai, or what is that called? The, you guys have to tell me what that's called, because I kind of forgot what that specific weapon's called. It's not the kunai, but he throws that out every 7 seconds with 4,820 damage with 18.8 .8 range. First upgrade, 1750. Second upgrade, he's already doing 9,000 damage, 6.3 SP and 22 range. Let's check his passive real quick. Minus 3%. Per wave down to 12% SPA, which is great. And then on upgrade eight, he'll get another thing. So this next upgrade is Lightning Receiver. What did he do? Huh? I mean, I saw Lightning. I just didn't know what happened to it. Uh, lightning Receiver. What does he do? Oh, he shoots like a big bazooka of Lightning. It's kind of weird. Um, pretty nice. So upgrade him again and again. Earth Slam being the oh there it is it's the it's the beams okay that's kind of cool actually so 13,000 damage every 5.9 seconds with 33 range is kind of absurd already if you guys think about it like that's a max unit right there and he's only level 26 so he's only like halfway to max level but upgrade him again for the Earth Slam it's oh oh a big hand comes from the ground that's cool wait that's actually kind of cool look at this ready like this big look. Boom, big earth hand comes out, smacks him in the face for 15,000 damage with 36 range. Upgrade him again, and then the next upgrade is the Flame Twisters. 40 range, his SPA goes down as well, his damage goes up as well. And let's see what Flame Twisters can do. Is it gonna be Cone? It is Cone, oh my gosh. Obito is Cone on upgrade. Oh my gosh, and wait, let's check out the new passive. Attacks inflict burn equal to 30 percent of his damage and with monarch that's a lot of damage that he's doing now obito is usually only a three placement unit so monarch on him is actually a really good trait to get upgrade him again and then i think one more upgrade oh he's another upgrade my goodness his range just keeps going up non-stop and then i have the z spa on him so he's hitting every 4.9 seconds 26,000 damage Plus, he's doing an extra 30% damage in burn. So if you add that all up, we do the DPM. Look, his DPS is currently 5,400, right? We do the DPM, 68 divided by 4.9 times 26,780 is 327,000 plus 30%. He's doing about 450,000 damage, which is a ton of damage. Now, is it the most damage you can get? No, but he's also only level 26, and he does hit in the cone, which is really, really OP. So that is him, guys. That is the Obito unit. Let me know what you think of him. I definitely think he's a... Uh, look at that. He's burning for so much damage. He's so OP, and honestly, might be the best damage unit in the game, honestly. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. What? Yeah, Obito might be him, guys. I got some rerolls from doing that. I got a legendary, another one. Oh, good. We're resupplying the stock that we just used, which is sad. But epics, a mythic chip, and a rainbow one as well. W, guys. What do you think of Obito? I think he's very OP. He's only level 20 something, and he's doing so much damage. I think Ethereal might have been like the better trait for him in the long run, but Monarch makes things super cheap, super easy to upgrade. For now, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I think I have maybe like one or two more Evos to do for the game right now, including our Alucard and maybe Vegeta. So keep an eye out for those. For now, I'm gonna go take a break and like get some food and stuff. I'll see you guys later. Reese's Pieces, why is this loading screen taking forever? <laughs> Bye!